Hello friends. Today we will discuss about the attributes. When you click the link, you will redirect to the Google page. And you have a image here. And image have a particular height and width. And that is all set by the attribute. Here you can see paragraph. And once you are moving the mouse over the paragraph, you are getting one tool tip that is para one. And there is a specific colors of this particular paragraph that is red color and bigger font. So this all things you can set with the attributes. So attributes you can write in the HTML starting tag. So here we will set the title of our document that is attribute demo here and then we will write the attributes for our Google page. So for that we will write the anchor tag and we will set the attributes that is known as the hyper reference href in that you will write http colon slash slash www.google.com and you are completing the starting tag and you write some text here for Google click here and you close the anchor tag. Now we will save this program and run it from the folder. This is attribute demo HTML. So just double click and you can see here. So here you have attribute demo on the tab of the browser and here you have a link that is for Google click here and once you click on this you will redirect to your Google page. So it's working fine. So here you can see attribute is providing the additional informations and that is normally a name value pair. So here name is href and value is http google.com where you want to redirect. So similarly we will write one more tag in which we will write some attributes that is image tag. So we have to write the img and then you have to give the src attributes that is the name and in that you can write the image that is available in my folder that is fruit.jpg and image is the empty tag so there is no ending tag. So here we have written one more attributes that is src attributes and in, in that we are passing the image here. So when we will save this document and refresh here we will get the image in the web page. Now here you can see your image is too big. So if you want to make it small, so you can define the height and width of the image. So you can write height is equal to say 500 pixel and width also you can take as a 500 pixel and then you save it and refresh the page and you are getting the beautiful image with the height and width 500 pixel. So height and width is also attribute that you can write in the HTML tag and it's give the additional informations about the image dimension. Now suppose in your folder this is the image and it is in the same folder where our document is. But suppose if your image is in another folder, so we will have normally a image folder and in image folder you can save this image. So you can see here there is no image here. It is available in IMG folder and if you 
refresh the page you are not getting the image you are getting the blank area here that is the problem with the image here because your fruit jpg is not available in the directory in which your attribute demo is available so you can write one more attributes that is alternate text that is you can write like problem here okay so when any problems occur it shows the text that is alternative text that is problem here here you have to give the relative path that is something like image is the folder and in that you have a fruit.jpg so you have to write the folder name slash fruit.jpg so this kind of technique is known as the relative path so here you are giving the relative path and refresh the page and you are getting the image here so here you are writing the full path and that is known as the absolute path for the google page while here you are writing the relative path that is relative to your html document folder in html documents you can write one more attributes that is known as the language attribute and in that you can simply write en this attributes helps the search engine what is the language of this particular page now we will write the paragraph and in that we will write something here that is this is my paragraph and we can refresh it over here you can get the paragraph here now in paragraph if you want to set some attributes like you can add the title in the paragraph so you are writing in double quotations uh, that is para1 so when you save the document and the refresh the page and when you move the mouse over the paragraph you are getting tooltip here that is para1 that what you have written here so this is also one attributes in the paragraph tag so here we are writing all attributes in double quotation or in single quotations even you can write in a single quotations like this so it's also work fine so you are getting para one here but if you are not doing quotations or double quotations here it may create some problems let's see here so here we will see it's writing only para it's not writing para one because due to space the remaining part is ignored so better to write attributes in a double quotations and suppose in para there is a single quotations or double quotations inside so if you want to write one in a single quotation so you can easily write like this in double quotations and then you can see it over here and you can write para one in which you can find one is in single quotation now suppose one you have to write in a double quotation so you can write your attribute in a single quotation so you can write the single quotation so your double quotations around one is the part of the tooltip text so here you can refresh and you can see here one having a double quotations here so this is preferable to write all value in the attributes using either single or double quotations so we will make it as it is with double quotation like this 
now suppose if you want to add some additional property that is style here so you can write style is equal to font size so this is what the css style that we will learn in detail but you can write your style in the starting tag also as a attribute so we can write font size is say 50 pixel so you can write 50 pixel and semicolon so you can see your paragraph font is bigger now you can write even multiple values in the style color colon and then you write the value here and semicolon and you can save it and you can run it your paragraph is read now so you can understand what is the importance of attributes here so using attributes of anchor tag you can give the path of your link here in uh, image you can set the attribute and you can give the path of your image you can set height and width you can write alternative text when there is a problem with the image you can give the tooltip with the title in the paragraph tag and you can set different styles in your paragraph so this is what the importance of attributes in the tag if you like this video press like and subscribe the channel and share the video and don't forget to press the bell icon for my new video notifications thanks for watching